With a tight budget, Libby High School's closing is not the only difficult task the school board has been having to deal with. Tonight, the final labor contract negotiations were wrapped up. Good evening. I'm Laura Emerson. And I'm Sean Hegarty. This time, members of the Ask Me Union received word that their contract for the next two years was approved. And as Fox Toledo's Jennifer Tech tells us in this Education First report, more salary cuts were made, but does it bring the district closer to a balanced budget, Jen? Well, the American Federation of State, County, and Municipal, or AFSCME Union, includes TPS employees that are the lowest paid in the district. While they're not entirely happy with their contract today, they'll tell you they accepted cuts for the betterment of the schools. Secretaries, janitors, food service workers, and bus drivers, upwards of 800 employees, agreed to their highest amount of concessions in 15 years. It's, it's a very sad situation because our people are yet again taking another financial hit to uh, solve a problem that they have uh, no part in creating. And uh, people should realize that uh, basically with this wage give back, in addition to the one last year, takes their wages back to about 1996. On top of the 2.5% cut in wages AFSCME union members agreed to and the concessions made by the teachers and administrators unions, the district is now on track to a balanced budget. We are close to $68 million worth of savings over a two-year period. Uh, that was the, the goal that we had. We had to get there in order to be able to have a balanced budget for the two years, and, and we're there. Cuts that were accepted by all three unions will be a hard one to take for the thousands of employees in the district, but those cuts are not going unnoticed by the school board. There are times like this that I feel real proud to be uh, part of Toledo Public Schools because all of our employees, every single bargaining unit that we have, which means every one of our employees has stepped up and uh, taken concessions and made some sacrifices for the district. Um, and uh, I think that uh, I just really appreciate that and I think uh, it's kind of a humbling experience. Well, TPS union members aren't the only ones making concessions. Superintendent Dr. Jerome Pecco and his cabinet elected to take salary cuts as well. Reporting tonight, Jennifer Steck, Fox Toledo News.